Yeah, what's up? Me, Mug713, and yes, you read the title correctly. This is a Red Ranger cosplay review. Now, for the next upcoming weeks, I'm going to be reviewing every single cosplay that I have, with the exception of full cosplays such as my white uh, MMPR, because that was, you seen the video, you seen how happy I was, and it was all made by the same cosplayer. In this case, I pieced together a lot of my cosplays. They all do not come from the same cosplay prop maker. So in this case, I'm going to review every single cosplay item in this video. As far as the Red Ranger, it's about four or five different prop makers that made this. So let us begin. So as you can see, I got laid out on the table. You see, you got the helmet here. You got the two cuffs. You have the boots here. What else? You got gloves, two gloves, of course. Uh, you have a hood. You have a belt with the buckle, both made by two different completely cosplay uh, prop makers. And the spandex. We got a lot to cover, Kitty, so go get some popcorn. This is going to take a while. Okay, guys, so I'm going to start from the bottom up. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. Get it? Okay, I'm lame. I'm sorry. But we're going to start at the feet, which is the boots, of course. Um, these boots are Stormtrooper boots, believe it or not. All it is, you just go on, I got them from eBay, just go on eBay, type in Stormtrooper boots, or I'll do the job for you. Links in the description box, look for the boots category, and you'll see it there. Um, they're Stormtrooper boots, if you type in Stormtrooper boots, it'll come up. Um, all it is, it's a big white boot. They're like really, really huge on me, because my calves aren't that big, or my legs, so... They're like really, really sturdy boots. I mean, I recommend them. They're very affordable. I think I'm going to pay like close to 50 bucks or so. Um, now, the pattern was altered by my good friend Deca Mexican. I will leave his Facebook in the description box. All he did was just sold, made the pattern for the diamonds and sold them onto the boots. As you can tell, all the way around, it should be four diamonds. One right here that's like split in half. The front of it here, bam. Another one, that's three, and the back is four. So yeah, four diamonds in total. Um, this is just works for me. You may not agree with this, but um, Stormtrooper boots, and if you're crafty enough, make your own diamonds and put them on the boots. So that's the boots. Okay, next on the list is the MMPR belt. As you can see, bam, bam. I have a little Velcro here. I'm going about to explain that in a minute. Uh, this is a nice, sturdy leather belt made by Halu007. It has the little, I guess, pinstripe on the thing right here for the lines. And they use these awesome buckles, you know, just like buckling the seatbelt. Bam and bam. Stuff like that. Uh, I mean, you can even whoop some ass with this belt. Like, I used to get beaten with belts and all sorts of things as a kid, but that's not the point right now. Um, this is a very, very, I love his belts. Like, I love the sturdiness of it. Like, it's really, really sturdy. So, you can get this from Halu007. I'll leave his link in the description box as well. You can check it out. Just look under the belt. And speaking of belt, what's a belt without the buckle? So, let's move on to the buckle. As you can tell, look how thick it is. I love this buckle. There's no better buckle in the game right now for MMPR but this. Um, this was made by Henshin Vault. I will leave his link in the description box. My good buddy Buzz out there. Um, it's really, really sturdy. I love this. And with my Halo 007 belt, I got Velcro, uh, industrial Velcro at that on the belt so it doesn't fall off. So I just apply it like so. And look, it doesn't fall off. It doesn't fall off. It doesn't fall off. You have to rip it off. So this is kind of a cosplay tip, I guess you could say as well for you guys. Um, the reason I have it on the belt, because I used this, like I only have one belt. So I use it for my other MMPR cosplays. Like this is originally for my Black Ranger, but I like to alternate it to my Red Ranger, Blue Ranger, Yellow Ranger, so on and so forth. So for example, I have my Blue, which was also made by Henshin Vault uh, with Triceratops. Once again, I can, I got Velcro on the back, just got that on there, it's on there. So if I wanted to be Blue Ranger, I can. Or strip my power off, and I'm Red Ranger. Tyrannosaurus, baby. <laughs> or Tyranna Ranger, if you want to go uh, uh, Zoo Ranger, as you can tell. Oh, upside down. Want to go Zoo Ranger, you know, Geki, all day, every day. Um, yeah, so that's it for the belt and the buckle. All right, next on the list, we're at the hands now, is... 
the gloves. These beautiful leather gloves. I know they're a little dirty. I mean, I had them for over a year and I go to so many cons, so eventually there's going to be wear and tear. It comes with the cosplay. But anyway, I got these from Kazakhan. Now, I don't remember the exact website. What's it called? I know it's Kazakhan. I don't know if it's like .ja because it's a Japanese website. So it's not .com or .net or anything. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. But these are beautiful, soft. They're so freaking soft. I wish I wish we had like, you know, like smell-o-vision. Like I wish you guys had feel-o-vision, if that makes sense, where you can just feel the softness of these gloves. They are amazing. Um, they're a little bit on the pricey side. I'm not going to lie about that, but they're well worth it. And if you buy cheaper gloves, which I cannot find at this moment, but I've had some color suit gloves that literally only lasted like a day, literally, and they ripped. But these are real leather. They're not going to rip. Might be a little discoloration, but that's normal. Uh, it's a way to clean them. I just don't know yet, and I'm afraid to. But these are the gloves. They feel so, so soft. Look at this. Mm, it's so soft, baby. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, Kazakhan, uh, you have to use Google Chrome and translate the website because it's in Japanese, so you need a translator to actually order them. So I also found a tutorial that I'm going to leave in the description box on how to exactly order for them using the Google Chrome translator and everything. So I'll just, I'll hook you up. I'll leave that in the description box. I'm going to be saying that a lot, leaving it in the description box, so get used to me saying it. But next that goes over these beautiful gloves is, of course... Are these cups I'm not going to really go over this because uh, the prop maker no longer accepts orders anymore but a good alternative that makes similar cups that I will review in my next cosplay review video is Deca Mexican he makes these cups as well these aren't the exact cups he makes but due to my friend Keith not taking orders anymore I'll leave his link in the description box to go to Deca Mexican but these are the cups um, these were pre-used actually um, I didn't buy this to my size, so they're a little bit big on me, as you can tell. See that little room right there? So they're not really to my size, as you can tell. I got a little bit of um, slack, I guess you can call it. But they're zippers, of course. And you saw I just slipped my hands because I got small arms. Um, but yeah, zippers, bam, bam. You got the four diamonds, of course. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, they're beautifully sewn, beautifully patterned. Uh, nice, real leather gloves. But that's all I can say. I mean, the prop maker doesn't exist. So, gloves and cuffs, baby. Gloves and cuffs. Next on the list is the spandex. Beautiful spandex. I love it. You can see the shine. Look how shiny it is. Just look as I turn. It's still, this is about a two-year-old suit, and it still holds a shine. This was actually made by Little Dragon. Little Dragon has a Facebook page. I will leave in the description box below. But I know I'm just so amazed by this beautiful shine. I love shiny things. I just love it. Uh, the stitching is amazing. You have your little hooks right here with the zipper. Even the zipper is rare, which is cool. Uh, you know, it's kind of like the big ones that you just put your legs in. Uh, I'll wear it later on. Like, I just love this quality of this thing. The only thing is I bought this used. So this is a little bit big on me. But if you're a big guy, I mean, he can make it to your sizing, of course. Hopefully one day I'll get this hem to my size, but it's a beautiful suit nevertheless. So, Little Dragon, links in the description box. All right, now moving on up, we are now at the cranium, and here is the hood, a.k.a. the sperm cap. You're about to see why I call it a sperm cap, and I just realized I got these gloves on. Sorry about that. But the sperm cap, or the hood. Um, this is basically to we wear right before you put on your helmet. People with long hair, this is perfect for you guys, so you won't get it trapped in the helmet. Um, you can tie your in a ponytail and just have it sit there, and bam, you're here. Or just hang it low and put it down your back. I'm not sure. I don't have, never had long hair. Probably never will. But yeah, you see, it's called a sperm cap because it looks like a sperm head. Um, I got this for Anarchy. This is a previous hood that I purchased from a White Ranger suit. But another alternative is going to textiles i will leave his link in the description box he also made the mmpr style white ranger suit that i did that you can see over there beautiful suit i still have it to this day um but yeah he can make hoods like these as well whether it's the full hood that goes over your head or he can also make like the neck one where it just stops at the neck like on the actual show where it stops at the neck not the actual hood so yeah textiles as an alternative links in the description box all right, but last but certainly not least is the helmet. Now, this helmet was a pre-used helmet. 
Uh, the prop maker is unknown. I have no idea who made this. It has a lot of flaws. For example, the visor is really wrinkled. Um, the inside is not too great as well, like with the padding and stuff. And the paint job is okay. It's not really that glossy compared to an Anarchy helmet. And it has like a lot of cracks and stuff like that. So um, no rep recommendation except for Anarchy cosplay. He has the best helmets bar none. Uh, beautiful quality. You'll see some Anarchy helmets later on in this series. But uh, yeah, this is just unknown. I have no idea. Let me do a super zoom really quick. So it's just to show you the inside. Okay, this is the best I can zoom. Sorry for my camera, but this is the clamps on the side. And see, that's the padding. The padding is ugh, subpar. You see the little visor. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but the little wrinkles in there. And it's not, it has the tabs on it, but it still has a few aligning issues. Like you have to get it perfect. I don't know if it's because it was not cut evenly or whatever the case is. So no recommendation unless you're going Anarchy. I would recommend Anarchy all the way, but yeah, this is the Red Ranger helmet. All right, so now to put every single piece on, this is gonna take a while, so fast montage. <laughs> Red Ranger. Hope you guys find this video very informative. All the links are in the description box. Thank you again for tuning in. Be sure to give me a thumbs up in your bottom right corner. Also, be sure to subscribe if you're new here. And also, share with your friends, other people that are in the Ranger fandom, your friends, your family, your grandma, whoever. So, thank you again for watching. Hope this video was very helpful and resourceful. And I'm out of here. Peace. So, so far, I'm pretty much legit. What you guys think? I mean, don't look at that.